for Asgard. Um, we obviously have have and are in the days of of wokeness, uh, SJWness, of you know slackness. Uh, you guys know the the we're we're in the days of of wokeness where you know we can you know switch our genders and things like that and pronouns and things like that um this is out this is uh for the parents um it's for the parents um especially those that you know you know leave their kids at maybe a day camp or daycare school etc as you know as it is you know with children um people in general or adults people in general well mostly children and how there are some children out there that you know are are born male but are are dressed like female uh born male and are, and are wearing female clothes and things like that um what I'm trying to get at is that once you leave your 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 child at a day camp, daycare, uh, you know, school. I mean, if again, like when you're not there, if your child, let's say the male, I'm gonna speak specifically about the males, about the boys. If they, you know, want to, you know, wear a, a dress, want to wear a skirt, uh, the school, the the daycares, the day camps, etc., they're they're going to allow it. They're going to allow it. If if your boy, your son, wants to wear a dress or skirt. Or if the, the teacher or the instructor decides to put him in a, a dress or skirt, uh, it's it's going to happen. And, and you might not even know that it happened. You might not even know that it happened. Because obviously you're not there. You're at work or whatever, school. And you're leaving your children in, in this society where there's so much confusion and where they're they're telling us that you know you you can't you can't tell a uh, a boy not to try on a dress again i i don't care if boys wore wore dresses hundreds of years ago i don't care uh if it's if it's the if it's the new thing now i, I don't care uh boys dresses it, 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 it should not happen should not happen and as instructors even if you disagree with it like <laughs> even if you disagree with it you 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 technically have to go along with it uh i was in a situation the other day I'm going to try to beat around the bush just in case. You know how things are. I'm going to try to beat around the bush. Um, it, wasn't in, like, it wasn't in my class. This was, this was not my classroom. So I really have had you know, no control of what can be done or what can be said. I'm, I'm just visiting. I'm, I'm a guest. And they had dresses, three dresses, three princess dresses that you would say, hey, girls would love this. And, and the girls did love it. And the instructors were okay with putting a dress on a boy. They're okay with that. A uh, couple girls asked me to help put the dress on them. You know, I'm um, okay, sure, I'll help put the dress on you. 
Then out of nowhere, this other boy comes with the dress, asking me to put a dress on him. Again, I am not down with the agenda. I am not down with the wokeness. I, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not okay with it. But if, again, if parents themselves want to do it, sure, but I am not down with the agenda. So the boy approaches me and, and asks to, to, to put the dress on him. And, and I was so reluctant. I, I felt weird putting a dress on a boy. And I, I was on, I, I was in motion of doing so because, again, you can't say no. You, I, I, can't, I can't be like, hell no, you ain't putting on no damn dress. I can't say that. Can't say what I want to say. So I'm 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 trying to stall. I'm trying to the two girls are still around me. I'm trying to help them put on the dress. I'm 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 I'm, I'm stalling. Maybe that maybe he's going to ask another teacher to do so. Where I don't have to. But the kid remained in my area. And I had to put the dress on him. But unfortunately in in my case, I don't know why it was an accident. As I was putting the dress on him over his head, I poked him in the eye by accident. This was an accident. I poked him by accident. I poked the child by accident. Poked him by accident. He started crying. He cried. And he didn't want to put the dress on anymore. So, (laughs) end of the day, you know, I had to unintentionally poke a child in the eye un- unintentionally i said sorry to him i stood by him asked if he was okay but i dodged the bullet ladies and gentlemen i dodged the bullet i did not have to put a dress on a boy but it still hurts me that i was put in a position like that where i can say hell no i am not putting a dress on a boy because I know a uh, few fathers would not like that. I think I remember a story where a father was not happy, not in this, not where I am, but years ago, a father was not happy with his son wearing a dress. Not happy with it. And, and as I'm in that position, I'm thinking of the fathers. What would the father say? What would the father say? I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure most of some, the 50% would not be okay with their sons putting on a dress. So this is what could happen while you're at work, you're at school, at home. Your child's at day camp, daycare, school. And without you even realizing, your son could be putting on and wearing a dress. A dress. Sooner or later, it's makeup, lipstick, bras who knows what so parents i say be be very vigilant Um, teach i I guess you could say teach your children at a young age of what boys wear and what girls wear but again i'm not down for the agenda i am not down for the agenda but anyways for asgard